In this video we will discuss the ABCD of success. The A of ABCD of success. Action, ability, attitude. Goals without action are simply dreams. It takes massive consistent and appropriate action Mac action, to achieve your goals. To put this into perspective, let's use a metaphor. If I want to go and run a marathon, I need to train. Simply running around the rugby field, a couple of times each day is not going to be enough. Thus, I need to take massive action and have a proper exercise regime in place. Doing a thousand push-ups each day is not the appropriate exercise though to get fit for running the marathon. At the same time, if I was running a single 20 km run once every three months, then that is not going to get me fit and prepared either. The training needs to be consistent in its implementation. Thus, I need to take massive, appropriate and consistent action to prepare and run the marathon. All the positive thinking and the most positive attitude in the world won't get the dishes done. You need to take action to do it. Next, we have the ability to deliver on what we promise. As a business coach, I must have the ability to effectively coach my client. There are different things that might have an impact on ability, example, training, financial, physical, time etc. I should have the right training. I might not currently have the financial resources to spend £5,000 per month on LinkedIn advertising. I may or may not be physically able to work with 20 clients per month if that was my plan. This could be due to illness as an example. Also, time might be a factor if this was 20 clients per week, who each needed 4 hours of my time each. In some cases, you can delegate some activities that you do not have the direct ability to deliver. However, one needs to consider whether you have the overall ability to deliver on the project. If not, then ask questions like, how and where you can get that ability fulfilled. Is it new skills that need to be acquired, or possibly bringing in an expert? You may have heard people say that, attitude is everything. It has some truth to it. Whilst it is obviously not everything, it plays a vital role in success. If one's attitude is negative, then one will often repel others. At the same time, you can have a positive attitude towards being able to deliver, but a poor attitude to business. Meaning, not getting the accounts done, not paying employees, being late to appointments etc. This will not inspire confidence in your clients and staff. The B of ABCD of success. B is for basics, belief, balance. There is a reason the wheel has been the same shape since circa 3500 BC I think sometimes people unnecessarily overcomplicate things. Make sure you can deliver on the basics first. This includes having a core product or service. Example, if you have a car wash business, make sure that your clients are happy with the service they get. Then you can upsell other services or products. They are more likely to buy another product or service if you get their initial need effectively and efficiently filled first. Focus on getting the fundamentals right first. It goes without saying that belief is vitally important. Limiting beliefs hold many people back from achieving their true potential and awesomeness. There are several techniques and modalities available to help you with overcoming limiting beliefs. At the same time, there is also a fine line between competence and arrogance. One can only look at the arrogance of an employee of the White Star Line who said, not even God himself could sink this ship, referring to the Titanic. A decade earlier, the Wright brothers had their inaugural flight in Kitty Hawk. They had the belief that they could do it and beat others to be the first to fly. Balance is another very important aspect of achieving success. People often talk of work-life balance. I would argue that there is no such thing, as life is really all there is. However, we balance how much time we allocate to other things, including work. People who get consumed by work, often forget how to really enjoy life and spend time on other things that are more important in the long run. Imagine being married to your job. Eventually she will divorce you and spit you out. Then she will simply get another suitor that serves her purposes better. Whilst it is important to be committed and put in the effort, one absolutely needs to have balance. This may be different for different people and at different stages of our lives. It might be necessary to work extra hours in your business in the beginning so that you can enjoy the fruits of your labor later. The C of ABCD of success. The three C's for achieving success. Control, commitment, communication. Consider everything that is seemingly in or out of your control. In the marathon example, it is in my control to train, prepare mentally and to go and run it. However, it is not in my control if a someone sets off a bomb during the race and injures people. That does not mean that I do not run any marathons out of fear. 
In a business, let's say that there was a sales competition. Imagine you got 9 out of 10 sales and I only got 1 out of 10. I could still win the competition as I will make sure I speak to more people. So, whilst I may not be as good a salesperson, it is in my control of how many calls I make. There are many things that are both in and out of our control. It is important to know which is which and how one can mitigate what is outside your control. Unfortunately, people often use, it is not in my control, as an excuse. Commitment is a vitally important factor in success. If you are not committed to doing what it takes, or simply playing at it, then success will most probably evade you. My daughter asked me earlier today how she can make some money. I asked her what she really wants, and she replied the money. Money is not what she really wants, it is what she can go and buy with the money. All too often though people want instant gratification and are not prepared to do what it takes for as long as it takes. One possibility for my daughter is to start a YouTube channel. That is all well and good, but it is not going to make her the money she wants right now. She needs to be committed to do the things she needs to do to make it a long-term success. Commitment, like each of the terms we are looking at, includes and influences each other. Communication includes both the communication we have with oneself as well as how we communicate with others. That self-talk we all have can potentially make or break a person. It serves a valuable purpose in protection, but can also lead to inaction, self-sabotage and never achieving the results you want. External communication includes clients, potential clients, staff, suppliers, investors, family member etc. It is very difficult for other people to buy into your dreams if you cannot communicate your vision to them. Communication includes verbal and non-verbal language, body language and actions. There needs to be a congruence between what one says verbally and the actions that you then take. The D of ABCD of success. The three Ds for achieving results. Disciplined, determination, decisive. Discipline goes much further than simply following orders or listening to someone in authority. It takes discipline and commitment to get up at 5 a.m. as an example, to do your morning empowerment routine. Especially on those cold mornings when your warm bed does not want to release you from its clutches. It takes discipline to consistently do the things that you know you need to do, but do not necessarily want to do. Always remember that successful people are prepared to do the things that unsuccessful people are not prepared to do. Determination comes into play when you must push through those barriers that seem to jump up at the most unforeseen times. When you have run the first 10 miles and have another 5 to go. When you feel you just can't do any more, that is when determination helps to push through your blockages. You can achieve way more than you think you can. Your body might say that you are tired and cannot go any further, but with mental determination you can push through. To achieve anything, one must be decisive in action. Often people are wishy-washy with making decisions. In not deciding, you are still making a decision. Only it may not be the one you really want or need. Take the necessary time you need to make decisions. However, know that not all decisions will always be the right or best ones. It is okay to make mistakes. You can always change or take different actions to remedy the situation. As a leader, your staff, family, followers are looking at you to make decisions. Being indecisive does not inspire confidence. To the contrary, it can appear weak and come across as a lack of confidence. These concepts are all very simple, yet they are very powerful when implemented to help you secure success. Success is totally achievable for anyone, however, it takes massive, consistent and appropriate action combined with the ABCDs of success. For more information about the ABCDs of success, visit our website coachingwithnlp.co.